Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to do a pattern fill in Affinity Photo. Unlike in Affinity Designer where you can do a pattern fill using the Vector Float Fill tool, in Affinity Photo you can do it only using the Gradient tool. So this is a pattern that I found on Pixapay.com that I'm going to use for today's tutorial. So before we start the tutorial, the key to finding a good pattern is that it must end on one side where it starts on the other side. So for instance, this spine here ends where it starts here on the other side and the same thing for instance with this branch here it ends here where it starts here on the other side so that is the key to finding a good pattern otherwise it will create a discrepancy when we do the pattern fill so we are here on a blank document so in order to do the pattern fill we need to create a new layer but we cannot do it with a regular pixel layer so we need to do the pattern fill either on a fill layer or on an object such as a rectangle or an ellipse. So I will teach you how to do it on both. So we go here to layer, new fill layer. And now we take the gradient tool, we leave the context as fill and we set the type as bitmap. And now we navigate in our folders to find the pattern and then we double click to open it. We can drag the gradient handles to make it bigger or smaller, or we can use it to rotate the angle. We can also press on shift to lock the angle, and this allows us also to rotate it with 45 degrees increments. So this is the way to create a pattern fill. Now I will show you how to do it on an object. So I'm taking the rectangle tool and I'm drawing a rectangle on the composition. And then I'm taking the gradient tool again. And like last time, I'm setting the type as bitmap. And I'm selecting the pattern. And just like last time, we can adjust the handles to make it bigger or smaller. And in case we want to use a different pattern, all we have to do is go here to bitmap again. And select the different pattern. And it is applied automatically with the same settings as before. So that was it for today's tutorial. You learned how to create a pattern fill in Affinity Photo. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Photo tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.